right in front of the abandoned trading station in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Hopefully we can maybe get in. Alright. Uh, we are up by the train station, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get inside. Oh, there is someone doing heroin over there. Yeah, I don't think we're going to go in here. Hey guys, how's it going? Just wanted to make like a little video, say uh, thanks for watching, but I wasn't able to get any inside footage of the train station just because there was like a homeless person blocking the way that we wanted to go and like I'm almost certain she was doing drugs, but either way, um, we're going to get into a little bit of history of the place and then I'm going to show you the bridge. So here we go. The Pawtucket Central Falls train station was built and opened between 1915 and 1916. The station was eventually closed down in 1959 after the building needed repair and funding had stopped. When they did start funding again in 1988, the station was not updated and put back into action. To this day, there's been a new site and location for a newer station for Pawtucket in Central Falls. As for the old station, I'm not sure what will be done with it. Two years ago, there was actually a fire inside of the Pawtucket building. It's pretty run down. If you want to see what it looks like, there is some videos on YouTube of what it looks like inside. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to get right into the fire. It was 5.02 and breaking overnight. State Fire Marshal's office investigating a fire at an old train station in Pawtucket. Breaking out at about midnight on Montgomery Street. Crews on the scene believe it started in a couch cushion. It was put out fairly quickly. There were no injuries reported and the cause is under investigation. The old Pawtucket Central Falls train station has been closed for years. A new station is currently being built right nearby. We are at the bridge. Right next to the bridge, we can see it pretty good. There's a big camera up there. Is there? Right <laughs> at the top. There's a big donut looking camera. Alright, well I think I don't think we're gonna go to this spot either. I think we're gonna just get out of here. is a familiar site, the Crook Point Bascule Bridge. It's been in that opposition for 43 years. Now more than a century after it's been built, state officials say the time has come for that deteriorating bridge to be torn down. The year was 1907 when the Crook Point Bridge was built as part of the New Haven Railroad spanning over the Seekonk River. It connected the capital city to East Providence. It's something that I think a lot of people identify with as an icon of Providence's sort of skyline. The bridge was abandoned due to declining use. In 1976, it was put in its up position to allow large boats to pass and stayed that way ever since. As years turned into decades, Rhode Island's Department of Transportation finally decided to take action. Tucked in the state's 10-year transportation improvement program, known as Roadworks, a total of $6 million is earmarked to demolish the Crook Point Bridge in 2026 and 2027. There's definitely a need to take it down. People can get hurt. There's uh, liability issues. Uh, it's in bad shape. There is an access point from Gano Street which attracts many. Several videos are posted online showing some people even climbing the bridge. The fence meant to block access has been cut several times over the years. The DOT says maintenance crews have to repair the fence often. Unfortunately, people find a way uh, to either get around it, get through it, uh, so it continues to be a, an attractive nuisance. Providence police say since 2014, crews responded to the Crook Point Bridge 17 times, 11 of those times for people on the bridge. The city has different hopes for the bridge. A spokesperson for Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza says they would like the bridge to be preserved, not torn down. Brent Runyon of the Providence Preservation Society also would like to see it preserved. He believes the bridge may be eligible for the National Register of Historic Places. Oh, thought it was a nice, cool, uh, sick drain I found. It's just a little one. 
This is totally just an explorer. I got some kids walking by up there. You can probably hear them, but. Someone dropped them off here. There's literally a couple heroin needles on the ground. Um, this is some lovely scenery. That one's still full. There's six, because there's one over here. Uh, that one still has something inside of it. There is literally heroin needles everywhere. <laughs> 